Hello there, my name is Abba. And I'm Mackenzie. And we're going to uh, find the splitting field for x to the fourth plus 2 over q. And in the next video, we'll determine the Galois group of this polynomial. So, um, to find the four roots, it's helpful first to consider the, go away, <laughs> consider the eighth roots of unity. So, here we have the complex plane, real axis, imaginary axis. This is the unit circle. So the first eighth root of unity will be roughly here at pi over 4 radians. And then this we're going to call zeta. And note that uh, zeta is equal to e to the 2 pi i uh, over 8, which is cosine of pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4, which is root 2 over 2 plus i root 2 over 2. And this will be helpful uh, for Mackenzie when she determines the actual roots of the polynomial in question. So 8 roots of unity, if this is zeta squared, then we know that this is i. Zeta to the third here. This is zeta to the fourth minus 1. Zeta to the fifth, zeta to the sixth, and zeta to the seventh. And this here is zeta to the eighth times k for all integers k. So clearly zeta is a root of x to the eighth minus one. And this is negative i. Oh, and this is negative i. Thank you, Mackenzie. I left that one out. Good job. Okay. Okay, so now the roots for this polynomial would be right here. We have 4 root 2 times zeta. The next one goes here, which is 4 root of 2. I see green's not looking very good visually. Maybe try a, a whiter color, like yellow maybe, just for, just for the, the roots. Do we do it? Just this one. Oh, yeah, that's popping. That's, like, very rootful. Mm -hmm. I'm rooting for that. <laughs> We're funny, too. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, theory can't be funny. <laughs> okay. This one's 4 root of 2 zeta cubed. Over here we have 4 root of 2 zeta to the fifth. And then right here... 4 root of 2, zeta to the 7. So, do you guys believe um, that these are actual roots of this polynomial? If not, she can check one. Why don't you check that one? Want to check that one? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Or actually, or that one. It doesn't matter. Which one you check? We'll do this one. Okay. <laughs> we'll say that this is f of x. Okay, good idea. So if we have f of 4 root of 2, you're in, in front of your work. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so we plug this into the polynomial. This to the fourth is just two. Whoops, this is to the seventh. Say mm -hmm. to the twenty-eighth. Twenty-eighth. So how many will take a bunch of eights out of there? So you can write that as zeta to the twenty-fourth times zeta to the fourth. So zeta to the twenty-fourth will just be one. Yep. Mm -hmm. So then So zeta to the twenty-fourth times zeta to the fourth. in front of your work now. Plus two. And zeta so to the... So zeta to the twenty-fourth is one, one, and zeta to the fourth is negative one. Yay! So that's two times negative one, which is negative two plus two equals...
equals zero. Yay! So it's a root. So for sure this is a root. And trivially you can prove the other things are roots. So now what are we going to do? Straight place this thing. Um, we're going to claim that the splitting field, I mean, of course, if we adjoin all four of these roots to Q, we have a splitting field. But let's uh, talk about a minimal amount of stuff that we need. If we adjoin just the fourth root of 2 and I, we claim that this, the claim is that this is the splitting field for this polynomial. Well, let's see, do we um, have root, so, we need to have, for sure, zeta and the fourth root of 2. If we want to include zeta, we have all the powers of zeta. But do we really, really need zeta? Zeta is a root 2 and i. So we adjoin the fourth root of 2, then its square is in there. So fourth root of 2 is in the splitting field, and fourth root of 2 times fourth root of 2 gives the square root of 2 in there. So let's call this f. So if fourth root of 2 is in f, then surely square root of 2 is also in f. And then all we also need is i. Is there anything much more to say? I think we've got our splitting field. So this field. is the splitting field. So we did it. Yep. And then we're going to use this expression of the splitting field to find the Galois group of this polynomial. This will be very easy when we consider the minimal polynomials of these two elements respectively. So we'll do that next, and thank you for watching part one of this video. Um, what do we do at the end usually? We high five. Oh, we high five, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! All right, cool. Go wow.